So it is 2.30 on a Sunday. Technically it's 1.30 because, you know, daylight savings time, but yeah, eh, all right, the clock says 2.30. But I have been doing stuff all morning, doing things at the, at the house, working, all that stuff, and I still haven't had food yet. I am so hungry. Some might even say starving. And I've been hearing about this place called Brooklyn Square Pizza. Yeah, Brooklyn Square Pizza. Uh, by my buddy John, hashtag Mighty Duck John, by my buddy Dave, who you've seen now in the reviews. Uh, it's been talked about a lot. So apparently it's good. I just want to have some food and hopefully it's delish. Hi, my name is Gabe Romanic. I'm an actor and um, I'm starving. Okay, well I'm here at Brooklyn, Brooklyn Square, I almost said pub. There is no beer here, I don't think there's any, no, no beer, just, you know, typical sodas, uh, water, juice, Gatorades, you gotta have Gatorades because every now and then you get a little dehydrated, especially after I do some of these Thirsty Actor beer reviews. Um, but this place is pretty cool, right across the street from the English Town Flea Market, which I was gonna sell some things at, at one point, but never did, because, you know, when you're mid-twenties, you procrastinate. But yeah, English Town, New Jersey. Used to come here a lot and got the the traditional. What? Is it Ashley, the name Ashley? What's the name of this uh, this pie again? The it's specific name? Upside Down. The Upside Down, that's right. Okay. Wow, this should be sponsored by Stranger Things. <laughs> the Upside Down? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the Upside Down. Upside Down slice, look at that. Nice. Nice coverage there. Nice, well done bottom. Sounds pretty good. I know Portnoy was here like two years ago. I didn't look at that review to see the score because I don't want it to, I don't want to, I don't want to become biased or like, you know, score based on that. So yeah, I'm super excited. This place has been around for five years. First place is the one that counts when you're starving. Wow. Wow. Alright, that's a nice crunchy bottom. It's super fluffy. It's like I'm biting a, a cheese cloud. Damn, that's good. So, upside down, obviously. Kind of similar to tomato pies that I did with Dave like a few days back. Cheese on the bottom, sauce on top. I'm loving this concept. This is really, really, really good. Man, that mozzarella is fantastic. So I found out from the girls here that the ingredients are brought in from Brooklyn like every day. There's a guy, Joe, back there making the pizza. He comes here every single day from Brooklyn. So all of you talking about how like you need to drive 25 minutes there and back a day for work, for the commute, you have no right. You have no right. This man, um, probably well into his 40s, he is dedicated. That is, so whether you're a musician or an actor or a guy making pizza, there is a love for the craft and that is dedication. That is dedication because I think Brooklyn from here is like, I don't know, an hour? But, you know, with traffic and all that, that's, it just adds up. Hmm. Mm. That's a really nice crunch. And I will bring this up until the day uh, I stop doing these, which I don't know when that'll be, but <clears throat> crust is so important because I grew up having all different kinds of uh, hoagies or, or pizzas that the crust would cut your palate. And again, this is reheated and this crust no slice at all. No slice on it on my palate. So that says a lot. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I'm digging this. Oh wow. 
Oh my God. I don't know what that was. I think that was some of the cheese melted into the crust. That, that oh my God, that was so good. Guys, uh, I don't know what to say about this pizza, just that it's fantastic. It's, this is not gonna be super filling. Like I could have, probably have about three of these or four because it's so light. Okay. Oh, the Parmesan on there is great too. It's got oregano as well. Fresh mozzarella. You can tell I'm not Italian because I said mozzarella instead of mozzarella, mozzarella. This is really good. So, so Broken Square Pizza. This is the English Town location. They also have a second location, which I believe is the original one. And that's the one that Portner was at. He was not at this one. Uh, that's in Jackson, so like kind of close to Six Flags Great Adventure, but I don't know. This is this is really really great. Yeah, upside down pie slice. Broken Square Pub. I keep saying pub. I guess maybe I'm. It's a Freudian slip. Maybe I want to go to a pub now. Maybe I should. Um, I'm gonna have to go with. I know John's watching this right now, and he's like, he has a, he has a number in his head. John, your number is wrong because I don't even have a number in my head yet. <laughs> um, wow. I don't know, I need another bite. Mm. Oh my God. I'm going with a 9-4. A 9-4. I mean, what category does this even go into? I guess Sicilian. That's the category that I'm going into for Sicilian slice. It's so good. 94, the year that I was born. I was not, I was not born in 94. Mm. That is so good. So from one Jersey guy who now lives in Atlanta, coming back to Jersey for, for a few weeks, do some reviews and a bunch of other stuff. This pizza's fantastic, 9-4. Whether you're traveling into Jersey or not, or you already live here, you haven't been here, or you're going to Six Flags, or you're going to English Town to sell some stuff at the flea market, just walk across the street, come to Brooklyn Square Pizza, and have this. It's fantastic. I'll see you on the next review.